Potential Volcano-Related Hazards A volcanic hazard refers to any potentially dangerous volcanic process that puts human lives, livelihoods, or infrastructure at risk of harm. Several hazards may affect the area around the volcano, such as lava flows, pyroclastic flows, lahars, and landslides or debris avalanches. During an eruption, most tephra will fall to the ground around the volcano. This can load the building's roof and obscure road markings, making travel difficult. The loading of tephra on leaves can lead to the burial of plants or the stripping of branches from trees, resulting in a significant impact on agriculture. Various gases can be emitted by active volcanoes before, during, or after an eruptive event and can cause various health hazards locally, but also have the potential to affect the climate globally. The five main gases that pose a threat to health are carbon dioxide, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen sulfide, and sulfur dioxide. Lava flows are flows of magma extruded into the surface of a volcano. In general, it is rare for lava to cause a direct loss of life because it usually flows slowly, allowing sufficient time for people to be evacuated. It does, however, destroy everything in its path by a combination of burial, crushing, and heat. Such eruptions are also associated with emission of volcanic gases and aerosols. Lava domes form when high viscosity lava is slowly erupted from a volcano. Because of the high viscosity of the lava, it can travel far from the vent and the dome of lava builds up. These lava domes are particularly hazardous as they tend to be unstable and can collapse, causing pyroclastic density currents. Pyroclastic flows are hot density currents consisting of mixtures of rock debris and gas that flow along the ground at high speed. Traveling under gravity, they tend to flow down hillsides, along valleys and towards lower ground. Although extremely powerful or energetic, pyroclastic flows have been known to defy gravity and move uphill. Temperatures of pyroclastic flows can range between 100 degrees Celsius and 600 degrees Celsius. They typically travel at 110 km per hour or faster down the sides of the volcano. Debris avalanches and landslides are common, but are not necessarily caused by an actual volcanic eruption or volcanic activity. They can be triggered as a result of volcanic explosion or dome collapse, particularly in environments where heavy rainfall is common. Debris avalanches tend to become channeled into valleys and can travel large distances well beyond their sources areas. It is difficult to reduce the impact of debris avalanches because they can occur without warning, even on dormant volcanoes, and can devastate large areas. Once initiated, it is almost impossible to evacuate areas in the paths of debris avalanches because of the great speed with which they travel. Lahar is a Javanese word for a type of volcanic mud flow made up of volcanic debris and hot or cold water. Lahars move at speeds that range from less than 10 km per hour up to tens of kilometers per hour. They can occur as a result of eruptions involving ice or snow, which can generate large amounts of meltwater, or they can be triggered or mobilized by heavy rainfall. As these debris-laden flows move down river valleys, they can gather more and more loose material. The Japanese word tsunami means harbor wave. Tsunamis can form in relation to a wide range of geological activities, from earthquakes to landslides. Although less common, volcanoes can also cause tsunamis. In fact, tsunamis have caused the most fatalities associated with volcanic eruption in historical times. Signs of an impending volcanic eruption 1. Increase in seismic activity 2. Deformation of volcano 3. Gases that come out of fumaroles 4. If plants nearby die suddenly, if the color of any lace or ponds nearby changes 5. Changes in thermal images of volcanic areas Appropriate measures or interventions before, during, and after a volcanic eruption before a volcanic eruption, 1. Each one should be aware of the dangers that volcanic eruptions pose to lives and be prepared to face whatever circumstances that eruption may bring. 2. Prepare all necessary things such as food, water, light sources, masks, and batteries to bring once evacuation is needed. 3. Prioritize the safety of kids before other things. During a volcanic eruption, 1. Avoid all low-lying place. 2. Seek cover in case ash falls and rain falls. 3. 
use masks and cover your mouth. 4. Close all doors and windows. 5. Always stay indoors or in an evacuation center. 6. Keep watchful eye on the kids. After a volcanic eruption, 1. Go back to your house but leave the kids. 2. Clean everything around and check all damages incurred. 3. Use masks while cleaning ash and other debris. 4. Wait for the further announcements. 5. Make sure that your house is still safe for all of you. Why does vinegar react with baking soda? They react because one is a base while the other is an acid. Acids and bases each have different parts of H2O or water. Bases contain an OH or an oxygen and hydrogen atom which together is known as hydronium. Acids contain the other H, one hydrogen. These really like to join and form water so they break away from the acid and base to react. In our case, baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, a base, and vinegar is diluted acetic acid. When they react to release the OH and H to become water, they also release carbon dioxide. This makes the reaction bubble and expand.